Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how to install and use the Textual DevTools which will come in very handy when you're developing textual apps, when you need to debug them, when you need to see how everything is working under the hood. So I have a very simple application right here. It's just a button and an input and the app looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and run my app. It's just a button that you can press and an input you can type things on. Press, type, press, nothing really happens, but it has these two inputs. Now what I want to show you is what really happens under the hood when you're using such a simple app. So in order to install DevTools, what you need to do is you need to pip install, well, you don't really need to pip install, you need to install textual with the dev dependency. So in my case, because I'm using pip, I'm going to say python -m pip install and then instead of just typing textual, I'm going to type textual and then inside square brackets dev. I'm going to go ahead and install that. It was super quick for me because it's already installed. And after it's done, in order to check that the installation was successful, you're going to go ahead and type textual console. So if something like this shows up, then the installation of the dev tools was successful and everything is fine. If you don't see this screen, if there's a weird error, then you should probably either go to the textual documentation and look for the installation instructions or just join our Discord server and see if you can get any help. Now, if this showed up and everything is fine, what you're going to go, what you're going to do is you're going to exit this screen. Actually, let's not exit because what I want to show you is what this is useful for. So what you're going to do is in one shell, you're going to type textual console, right? In a different one over here, let's move it over here. I'm going to go ahead and move to that folder, so documents, textualize, videos. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate my virtual environment. And now I want to run my app and debug it with the help of the console. So the console even says here what you need to do. What you need to do to connect your app to the console is, instead of just typing textual run my app.py, you're going to add the dev switch. And when you do this, I'm going to press enter and a bunch of things are printed in the console here. Now what's happening is by default, let's maybe make this longer, but shorter. Whenever you press a button, for example, notice here that you get the pressed event. So I'm going to go ahead and say press the, I'm clicking the app in a bunch of different places and the clicks are getting locked here. The position of the click, the button of the mouse I used to click. And for example, if I now press the input, notice that now we have focus on the input widget. We lost focus on the button. So the blur event happens when you lose focus. And I also got a click event because I did click inside the input. Now I have, I'm in my app again. I'm over here at the bottom, right? I'm going to press tab. Let me show you tab. So now, the button was focused, you can see over here on the top left. If I just type, if I press keys, uh, let's see, let me actually focus the button. If I press keys, you can see that we get key events. Now if I'm going to press the, the up key or the down key or the left or the right. So this is very useful when you're developing because it lets you see what's happening under the hood. And sometimes if you need to debug, the simplest thing you can do, not not always the best, but the simplest thing you can do is use prints. So for example, suppose that we have a method here to handle button presses, right? So I'm going to, from textual, I'm going to import the on decorator, and then I'm going to say on button button pressed. And now here I'm going to say handle button presses because I want to do something itself. And now I want to add a print statement. Right? The thing is, prints by default, they don't show up, right? Because I'm already taking the, the shell, I'm pressing the button, obviously there's no prints showing up in here. However, 
if you show the console, where is it? It's over here. If you show the console, and if you connect to the console, when you press the button, the prints show up. So if you need, if you really need to have a couple of prints, you can just, um, well, print them, and then check them in the console. Now, another cool thing is, this can be a little bit overwhelming, right? I just started the app and I have a bunch of things showing up here. What you can do is you can take a look at the top left of each line and this is going to show you what type of thing is being printed. For example, these first messages are system messages, it's here. You also have some event messages and system debug messages. When you start your console with textual console, you can also use the dash X to exclude certain types of messages. For example, let me exclude all events. Now I need to quit and reconnect to the dev tools console. Notice how we get a smaller set of things. Now if I press the button, I only get that I'm here. I'm not getting all of the button events, right? Or if I type in the input inside the input, I'm not getting the input the sorry the key events in the console so if you if you know you're looking for a specific type, for example this info right here i am deleting things and i'm getting a bunch of info messages maybe i don't want to see this so i can quit the console and i can type dash x info if i run this again let me reconnect the app don't forget to reconnect the app to the console i'm typing and i'm deleting and i'm not getting a bunch of things printed to the console so this also comes in handy so this is the basics of the DevTools console. It allows you to do a couple of other cool things, but this is pretty much enough to get you started. If this didn't make sense, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop, in, drop them in the comments below, or just join our Discord server to, to chat with us, and I'll see you soon. Bye.